Hi, welcome to my channel and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I bring a topic about ASEAN states lead in regional maritime security cooperation. But more needs to be done, says expert. Southeast Asia needs to cooperate to address maritime security challenges, according to maritime security expert at a recent webinar. An expert from Nanyang Technological University explained to Gulf Insider why ASEAN might need face a higher risk of maritime security threats and the step the region can take to protect itself. Maritime security risks such as piracy, sea robbery, and terrorism often take place in Southeast Asia and better cooperative measures are needed to address them. In February 2004, the world witnessed the deadliest security the deadliest te terrorist attack at sea. When the jihadist militant group Abu Sayyaf caused the explosion of a commercial vessel, Supervary 14, carrying 899 passengers in Manila Bay, similar incidents are a common occurrence in the border of the Southeast Asia. While terrorism at sea is rare, Parsi and sea robberies regularly take place in the region with an armed robbery taking place in the Singapore Strait just a month ago. This marked a total of 41 incidents in the Singapore Strait since the beginning of the year, reported Safety Force. In the second half of 2022, the fre frequency of these incidents may experience a moderate increase due to economic problems caused by Russia-Ukraine war. According to ICC or Yusuf Ishak Institute <coughs> report, the Association of the Southeast Asian Nation or Asian has handled Southeast Asia's maritime security in its broadest sense, encompassing all maritime challenges from piracy and human or drug trafficking to maritime terrorism and international organized crime, said Fu Hai Dang, a senior research fellow at the Center of International Law or CIL in the National University of Singapore. He was speaking at a webinar on maritime security and commercial shipping organized by CIL on September 26 September. All Southeast Asian countries face maritime challenges with the expectation with, with the exception of Laos, which is landlocked. John Bradford, a senior fellow in the maritime security programming at the S as Rajaratnam School of International Studies on Nanyang Technological University. He told that Gulf Insider. But some of them lack the capacity to address these challenges, making cooperation amongst the Asian countries crucial to the management of maritime security. Facilitating maritime security cooperation also traditionally under international law. It is states are the primary providers of security at sea where they have absolute responsibility and control over their territorial sea up to 12 nautical miles. Also Bradford, a retired U.S. Navy commander, told Gulf Insider. Asian states are working together to deal with non-military threats at the sea, but the ocean's broader borders are porous and threats are rarely respect the borders, says Bradford. He adds that human threats like pirates and terrorists could use the porous borders of the sea to their advantage to try to seek refuge. States are working on cooperation so that they can shore up to the security of sea borders and build their capacity for security management. 
also he acts. He gives an example of the quadrilateral Malacca Strait patrols, a set of practical cooperative measures undertaken by Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, and Thailand. The patrols help to ensure the security of Straits or Strait of Malacca and the Singapore Strait, critical and strategic waterways in the global trading, also global trading systems. These four states coordinate their patrols by indicating where their surveys ships would be and when, with the intention of possibly moving about to the patrol, he explained. They also participate in the eyes of the sky. This operation where each country contributes an aircraft to patrol over the Malacca Strait. There is a similar arrangement in the Sulu Celebes Sea area between Malaysia and Indonesia and also Philippines, says Bradford. Cooperation also extends the utilization of resources such as fishes and petroleum, he adds. For instance, Malaysia and Thailand have agreed to a joint development zone where no one claims ownership of resources and there could be a revenue sharing also revenue sharing arrangement additionally cooperation takes place when a state with a specific capacity or capability offers help to another state an example of this is the hosting of an information fusion center by the singapore navy at the changi command and also control center which functions as a regional Maritime Security Center. They state they come together weekly, share information about what is happening and also in their area, and publish report and best practices which are shared with all the member countries. He says that. But it is much more than the common, common for Southeast Asian countries to receive help from the from countries outside the region, points out Bradford. The United States, for the instance, has been giving Scan Eagle maritime drones to Malaysia and Indonesia to help them improve the maritime domain awareness data, also data collection. So thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.